did it again. We did it. See, we did. this is what it's like with no intro. In the land of no intro, Tommy. No, that was an intro. I mean, it's not musical or like, but it's an intro. It's, it's an hey, intro. Everybody. Hey guys, sorry we're late. It was my fault. I was chatting and flirting as per usual. Anytime Tommy's around, I'm a little bit flirty and I haven't talked to him in a minute. So we were catching up. How's your life, Tommy? You know what? Uh, I can't complain. Honestly, it's been busy as heck. It's been a bizarre week, you know, because of the uh, all the stuff that's been going on with uh, with Johnny. But other than that, um, I'm doing well. Oh, yeah. I'm, I, my, you know, my health is uh, is uh, starting to to get better, so I feel good. You know, I uh, forgot about that. Your brother. I started <laughs> the show. Yeah. Which is saying a lot for me. That's a really, thank you, Lori plays. That's a really big deal. Tommy, I do not watch TV ever, ever. I've stopped since I started my YouTube channel. I don't watch TV. So I watched it, um, whilst finishing my pint of, uh, milk and cookies, Ben and Jerry the other night. And uh, nice. they went well together and it was a great show. I really liked it. I'm serious. I didn't think it was going to be for me. I thought I was going to get bored. But um, you know what was really weird during that show? I got into episode three and I was like, I feel like I need to eat something spicy. It was so weird, but like everybody eating all the hot stuff. That's funny. You're because everybody's been saying that for real. I've talked to so many people that said, I don't even like hot stuff. But I started watching that and I was look, looking in the refrigerator for what hot sauce I had. Oh, I love hot. So no, I, I yeah. eat hot stuff all the time. But yeah. Yeah, I had some dried jalapenos that are like little crispy dried ones and i popped yeah, a few yeah. of those yeah yeah those are always fun Four thousand, yeah. roughly four to six thousand uh, scoville units that's hot that'll get you do attention. you know that i didn't even know that's what that word meant until i started yeah. the show i didn't even know that was a thing yeah wilbur wilbur scoville came up with the uh, scoville scale uh, to no figure idea. out how hot a pepper Hi, is Hux. so the calif the uh, car Carolina Reaper is uh, in the 2 million range. So if you think of a jalapeno at 4,000, 2 million gets to be um, um, frightening. It's very, very hot. Yes, yeah. it's very hot. And uh, I didn't have Hulu, but Barb gave me her Hulu sign in so I could watch it. Nice. Nice. Wasn't that nice? Probably I the first that... person to ever do that, too. You know, I don't think there's a lot of that that goes on. She actually told me that only about five total people on planet earth have a Hulu account, but the rest, the rest of us just use their account. I believe that. I absolutely believe that because I'm picking a bunch of users. Of somebody. Yeah. yeah. We're a bunch of users. Yeah. Yeah, no. totally. I get it. Yeah. Certainly. Um, it never wow. says your name when it pops up. You know what I mean? It's always like, you know, welcome Leonard. And I'm always like, sweet. What's up Leonard? You know, ready for, ready for a little Hulu. Leonard, my man. Sorry. Hello, Charlene. Good evening. Yeah, no, it's weird for sure. It makes me feel a little, a uh, little strange that I do that. Although everything else we have is ours. That's not true. I just lied. Actually, I take that back. Plex, we have Plex, and that's through my brother-in-law. So that's true. It says hello, Christopher. Whenever I get on there. Plex. I don't know that I have any streaming services. I mean, honestly. Ooh, have yeah. dang girl coming in hot. I like that. I'll wow, take it. How about that? We'll take it. You know, we SPTV is small. Can we be the hottest people on YouTube? SPTV you know something is... though? Uh, you you do look fantastic with the uh, with those glasses um, and the hair. There's the uh, the librarian thing uh, goes on. My yeah, God! You Thank you so much. That. You know, I was going to ask the chat. Do you guys? Yesterday, I got kind of addicted to this with the. Yeah. Not you, with... me. With the Good lady, th with our doctor, Gretchen. Do you guys like this better? I'm kind of into it. I can see Tommy a little bit easier. No, Do you guys see, like you it? Look, you look good like that. And I look frightening like that. You know no, what I mean? No, I think you're adorable. No, 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 no. Like anybody watching this, guys are like, oh, nice. And, uh, and cops are like snapping the thing off of their uh, gun belts. You know what I mean? They're like, uh-oh. <laughs> right? I'm serious. Snapping it's, the uh, what off their gun belts? I don't even know what you're... The, I don't the know snap. What you're you know, getting ready to, to draw. It's just a, yeah. Oh no. Everybody's voting. Yes. Everybody likes oh. it. Cause your face is so cute. You're so adorable. No, yeah, Tommy. Did you know yeah, this? That's all we need. That's all we need. 
And I like that we're both growing our beards out. I think that's cute that we're both doing it. You like that? Um, this, you know, the effort it takes to grow a beard out if you're me. Like, I don't think you understand this. For, for the average person, this is all you got to do is sit back and wait six weeks and you have a beard. I can't do that. You see, over the course of that six weeks, this will come in very white. And I will begin to look an awful lot like my older brother. So I have to keep dying this puppy about every three days, right? So that as it starts to, <laughs> so that as it starts to come in, yeah, it's, it's a lot of effort to uh, to grow a goatee if you're me. Is that for me and Tommy? <laughs> matching, <laughs> matching beards? No, I think she was referring to my brother and I. I know, I but I like to tear myself down. I don't know if you knew. We're, we're not having it. We're not having it. Um, I love the uh, Reese close up and I saw a ballerina painting. Yeah, I just got that. Where is it? Katie, I just found that at an antique store and I just liked it. You know, it was like minus 17 degrees. No school. Huxley and I went. I found my my crazy fur hat. Remember the hat you guys saw? And I saw that painting and I was like, why not? It's cold out. You know what? Um, I'm going to do it. Hey, Blakey, you guys. Sweet. Hey, Tommy, what would the shampoo in color work? <laughs> you know what? Um, that's a thought. You know, that is a thought. Doing that instead, um, not a bad idea. It, and if you watch often, do you see this? The silver play button is gone. I pawned it. Well, uh, oh, really? Is it worth anything? Yeah. Well, Johnny's out of town now. I got like 30 bucks, but uh, needed some gas money. What are you going to do? You know what I, mean? well, you can, I, have, I have Venmo. I would have helped you. Um, no, it's way uh, more fun selling his silver uh, play button. He's out of town? No, I'm kidding. Uh, we had to move it because he was shooting something for he, every five minutes. Somebody wants to interview him now. Do you it's, know, I didn't uh, even know what a silver play button was you, until you told me. Um, do they just give it to you or do you have to buy it? No, you do not have to buy it, but you do have to uh, write them a letter and say, hey, guess what? I hit 100,000. Then they look at you to make sure that you're not one of those people that hit 100,000 by picking on people or being, you know, just hateful or whatever. You know, there are people who they go, yeah, yeah, you're not getting one. The more important thing is the check mark afterwards. You know, after you your name is Do you think we will ever mark. get there? I don't think I'll ever uh, get there. I think you will. Absolutely. I think you will. I don't think that many people want to talk about vaginas. Are you kidding me? Howard Stern. Look at Howard Stern. The, the man made billions vaginas? of dollars talking about nothing but. He talks about vaginas? Yeah. yeah and nothing else. I mean, he did in the old days. Now he's, now he's kind of gotten a little soft in his old age. But in the very beginning, it was about, um, yeah, it was about uh, females. It, that kind of bothers me. He doesn't have a vagina. It kind of bothers me a little females. bit. Say it again. He doesn't have a vagina. So that bother. It's like, you're not really going to have a show about vagina. That makes me a little mad. Like, what do you know? It'd be like getting a male OBGYN doing my pap smear. Like, who are you to do this? You don't have one. Why would I talk to you about when it hurts when I'm ovulating? Which, by the way, started today, in case you guys wanted to know. I'm a little crampy, Tommy. And what I want to yeah. know is, how are you going to know that? How are you going to be like, oh, I get it. I'm no, not going to sit no, there no, with you I, spread eagle no, and no, talk no. about that. I, I wouldn't get that at all. I wouldn't get, and neither would Howard. But that's not what he was doing. What he was doing was, this is Liz, this is Karen. With any luck, let's get them to play with each other. Like that is really how the guy became a billionaire. I mean, sad but true. That is how the guy became a billionaire. And if you just showed up recently, you'd be like, oh, he's the nice guy from, you know, that America's Got Talent thing. But if you were back there in the 80s, oh, that was some rugged stuff, wasn't it? Ooh, hmm. ugly. ugly. You know, I just don't think it's fair for a guy to have a show about vaginas. It just doesn't seem doesn't seem like the same thing. I feel you entitled to talk about to mine because I have one. And her name you, is Penelope. You'll be happy to know that I uh, I very, very rarely bring up uh, the uh, the bunny foo-foo on, um, on uh, the lifeboat. If ever, um, I literally never, ever. Thank you, Goosebump. The, uh... Well, of course you, you don't. Mom. What are you going to say about Bunny Foo Foo without me? You need to have a person there. Do you talk to other women on the lifeboat? I don't know. Am I the only person? 
I'm not sure that I've I probably interviewed people, but not like not like this. I don't, I don't think I've ever had a recurring guest. You know, I've had oh, people isn't on that there. Sweet. But... Yeah. Definitely different. Definitely makes different. me feel kind of fuzzy. Makes me feel a little butterflies. Huh. Well, that's nice. But it I'm... makes me feel huge because right now I feel like my face has actually never been this big. You know what I mean? And and the sad thing is, I mean, let's be really honest. I don't need help in the nose department. Like, check this out. Are you ready? I mean, good Lord. Uh, when you start closing in and like really. I love your nose. Up, I've always liked your nose. Follow your nose. It always knows. Um, Do you know that I'm worried about my nose more than your nose? Because my dad has the largest nose um, on planet earth. And I'm worried about it. Do you want to see? I just saved this off his largest, stupid wife's, that, his stupid wife's Instagram. Statement. Look at my stupid father's nose. Yeah, I, I, I'm not going with the largest in history. Oh, it's um, huge. Quit it. Yeah. No, no, you had me really fired up. I thought we were going to be looking at a pachyderm. Oh, I mean, please. that's just a guy with, with an oh, average nose. I mean, I'm not impressed. That's, oh, stop. No. I mean, my, my honker's that size. I just happen to have a large face that uh, accompanies it. But see, as you get older, all this sucks in, and then all you're left with is that massive nose. And then you kind of look like you're looking out from behind a beak at all times. You know what I mean? Um, sad but true. My dad looks like an old woman, Lori. Um, the daddy, the uh, your dad has lady hair. You know, let's be really honest. There's something to that, right? Oh, he looks like an old. He looks. My mom said he looks like my aunt Reva. He looks like an old woman. He looks like an old lady. That really is a, just an excellent shot. That is an excellent. Do you shot. know? I was saying the other day. I was hoping that he wasn't my dad because guess who my mom boned. You won't believe it. My mom boned quite a few people in the 70s, especially. Good for her. I know. Why do you think I'm planning to get married again and again and again? It's, it's right. a thing. It's a, it's a family tradition, if you will. Um, I um, My mom boned the lead singer of Nazareth. The song that love hurts. She boned yeah, that no, no, dude. I'm very familiar with Nazareth. Yeah. I was hoping he was my father. And she said, no, Reese, because he was in the 70s. Oh. No. Wouldn't Probably. that have been cool? Yeah, that would have been very cool. I thought you would like that. Yeah, great um, band. Really good band. Um, I thought of, by the way, yesterday I did a live with our friends here, and we came up with some more songs to karaoke on the cruise that uh, we volunteered you for. Oh, volunteered me for. Excellent. Yeah, and I don't know the name of it, but we're going to sing, you and I are going to sing <laughs> Andrea Malloy. We're going to sing that song together, um, and I'm going to do this part. I'm going to go... Let them say we're crazy. I don't care about that. Put your hand in my hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Never yeah. look back. Yes, yes, and then I you're going to go, this. let the world around us. Around us. Just, just fall, fall apart. apart. Oh, yeah, I got this. Don't okay. trip. I got you. Yeah. Okay, good. Because I was worried. We make it if we're hot to hot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I believe that's, I believe that's Jefferson uh, Starship. Don't worry, I'll bone up on it before. Yeah. Oh, that's, sure. Like I have that kind of time. Def that's definitely a starship, and I will bone up on it. I just oh, really? threw it out there so that you guys could, you know, have fun with the whole boning up on the, you know, slightly oh, immature audience. I'm just saying, you know what I mean? What? Please dial it up because you were not dialing it up the other day. And so you kind of have some lost time to make up. For the it. other day, I was suffering from what we call in the medical uh, community toe drag. From Look, time to time, you just get toe drag, you know? Tommy, I have periods once a month. I totally understand, okay? I'm just telling you here and now, Hold on. we you need you, we need you to be now here. On, from now on, I'm just going to act like every other guy here. And when you use like the P word or the V word, I'm just going to go, oh, I can get really freaked out and be like, don't talk about that thing like you have one. It's disgusting. But you know what you I are? Can't, I can't. You may not out. have one, but you know what you are? You're a vagician. A magician. Wow. I don't know who came up with that, but that is genius. You may not I'm have one, but you are a bit of a magician. I am very seriously considering tattooing that somewhere on my body. That is okay. a, uh, that is just an excellent word. Okay, I good. Mean, I like that. that. Is, I'm sure that the ladies will stuff. really chase you around on that cruise. Then if you're running around with magician tattooed on you, uh, bone it up. Tommy Brooke says that's my new friend, Brooke. What's going on? What are you doing in there? <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-uh. No. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'll show um, you. I'll show you when we're not live. 
I'll show you when we're what? not live. I'm, Do you have a tattoo on the inside you of your mouth? Are not live. What's that? Do you have a tattoo? You have a well. Why? You've shown me your watch pictures all the time. Do you have a tattoo yes. on the inside of your mouth? Okay, I do, but this would be showing the entire world, right? And that's going to be one that we're going to we're going to hold off for a uh, for a later date. But yes, I do have a tattoo on the inside of my lip. Now, over time, those do fade away. You know, um, they don't last forever. You know, but um, it tends to, you know, over time. So in a few more years, it'll be gone. You know. Love. Okay. Love will keep us together. I like that digging, too. Digging the goatee. I hope so, because I'm putting a lot of effort into this goatee. Well, I asked you to do it. I don't know if that's why you're doing it, but I asked you to. Actually, I think what you said was just the handlebars, but you know, I got it. No, and that. then I said I like all of it though. Please do it all. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I'll go with um that. Tommy, and then last night we were also planning if I were to die, like who's going to do my funeral, who's going to mod it, who's going to live stream it. And then Joe um, Virus is a DJ. He's a professional DJ. So he was going to DJ it. And then really? we spun off. Yeah. And then we spun off. That got a little depressing. Ken Cole. And then we spun off into uh, some of us didn't get proms because some of us were in the church of Scientology or what have you other things. Uh, so we might do a little bit of a prom on the cruise. So I was going to ask you to the date. I was going to ask if you'd be my date. That, that is an absolutely phenomenal concept. It really is. Okay. Quit dodging I mean, the question. Cool... No, 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 no. I'm not at all. I'd be more than happy to more than okay. happy to. He said, yes, guys. And, and I, I wanted to lock this thing down. And I own a tuxedo, so um, so I'm really am the uh, I am definitely the uh, the cat for uh, for prompts. But I think that's a fantastic idea because that's definitely something you get rooked out of, and that's no good, you know. No, I dig that. I did you get to go to a prom? Hey, Tampa did B. You... Did Barbara, I... did you go to a prom? Did you have a prom? I went to many proms. Of I course did. you did. What a I sicko, went to more proms pervert. than I was supposed to. That we, I typical. really did. Well, I went that to all of the problems at my high school, and then I moved to a different state, and I started dating a girl who was slightly younger, and I attended her prom. Of course you did. And then last year, I went to a prom, but that girl looked like 26, so don't even start with me. What? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Would oh you relax? My. Thank yeah. God. He's he's perked up and alive. Yeah, uh, SPTV Tattoo Warriors on the decorating committee. But oh, good. But um, Good. Everybody, it is your reminder to get your passport. Tommy, do you have a passport? I do. Okay, I don't. In fact, I have more passports than Jason Bourne. I think you'd be really surprised. I have a, uh, I have an excellent collection of passports. <laughs> I'm kidding, people, but I, I, I do have one. Yeah. Well, we just like that you're perked up and awake today for this. Um, I, uh, I jumped so in a freezing cold pool for this. I know you did, and I couldn't be more grateful. Um, Tommy, so we're going to do a prom. I asked you to be my date. You can't get out of it now. So don't be trying to say no. Okay. okay. I, I wasn't trying to say no. Okay. And then, um, then we spun it off into more karaoke songs that we're going to do. And that's good. But then we thought, cause the funeral's a little depressing. I started planning Joe virus is going to also DJ my next wedding. And I thought that was oh. really special because, you know, you only get a few of those. You only get a few <laughs> weddings. So uh, I thought. Um, hmm? pl planning for the next uh, wedding is just it's one of those things that's just you, know, you don't you don't hear about it often enough. <laughs> you know, it should just, be talked about. Yeah. yeah, definitely. It's a reality. And yeah. um, I am uh, again, there's no velvet rope at Club Reese. Anybody can get in. I'm as easy as they get. So uh, oh, I'm sure please. that it'll happen again. And um, so I thought that was fun. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of like a 70s, 80s thing. And if you um, run out of a room really quickly, right? Like if you take off really, really fast, there is an expression that is used, right? Sometimes they say off like a herd of turtles, right? Never made much sense to me because they don't move very quickly. Another one is off like a prom dress. There's going to be so many people at your next wedding. Just we're going to live stream it. 
just off like a prom saying. dress? Tommy, you're just being a typical man today, aren't you? No, I'm not. You know what? Why is it? How come no one has ever said off like a prom tux? Right? Like like dudes are doing it with the tux on. Why is it that it's always the prom dress? Huh? It's sexist. You never want a tattoo on a wedding ring, Sarah. I'm sorry. I'll never do that. That's not happening. Not to mention, isn't that kind of cheap? Why would you let a man get away with that? If he wants to do it, fine. What are you showing us your watch for? <laughs> there, is a, uh, there is a name that just works perfectly right below that watch band at all times. I don't know what that it means, does. but if you uh, want to perfectly. be more specific. Okay. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I don't let, don't let a guy talk you into doing that. He, you need to get the ring. You need to get a nice ring, the ring that you want. That's ridiculous. Let's not, I'm not going to get remarried three more times to get a tattoo. Okay. You're, you're um, referring did I miss to something? What happened to Jeff? No, you're referring to the ring, not the, not the prom dress getting, uh, getting tufts. Let's, let, let's not confuse the two issues here because we were doing this off like a prom dress thing. And then all of a sudden we started getting into this, this tattooed thing. And, it, and, and let's not confuse the two things. One of those is an excellent idea. One, not so much. Yeah. As a jeweler, I would recommend, well, Tommy, I don't think I was confused. You were confused. Why? See, I'm on your, I'm, I'm not even on my freaking channel. Cause That's you're great. not sitting next to me in front of my Mac. Yeah. Um, but so we're going to live stream, um, What, Yvonne Reese, you did it. Try again to get Tommy to explain what name. I don't know. I don't know what that means, Yvonne. Um, thank you, Brittany. So we're going to live stream the next wedding too, or funeral, whichever comes first, but we're going to live stream it. All right. All don't you right. think that sounds like fun? I think it would be fun to live stream. If you're a YouTuber and yeah. people actually like you and more than absolutely. two people will watch, I think it no, would be fun. Absolutely. Yeah. I could I see where... Be... Uh... No, I can see where people would dig that, especially considering how many people you see in um, in the comments section that you would love to, uh, you know, to see what these people look like. A lot of these people are going to be on the cruise. I think it's going to be fun. I really do. do. I think it's going to be fun. Do you have a loyalty card, like a coffee card? Is your 10th wedding free? Yes. Yes, it is. How many weddings? I Guys, I'm just, I believe in it. I believe in it. Simone, I'm so happy idea. to hear that. Do you really? Yeah, I really do. Okay. I think I think a prom would be a fun thing. <clears throat> we could work out something. Maybe uh, the librarian think we could work into that. A little role play. I might have lost the book. Did Jeff die or something? I'm just saying. <clears throat> no, people. No. John Shamwowski, you're all, do you guys not plan for your futures? That's all. I'm just saying, you know, you only get a few weddings. I'm the, and... uh, I'm the ace in the hole, right? I'm, uh, right. And talk to the actuaries. I'm probably not going to be around anyway. Don't uh, say that. I have a cat who would be viciously unhappy about the whole thing anyway. They what? Very tough animal too, but. Um, yeah, we're just, yeah, just planning, planning ahead. ahead. Yeah. That's all. See that? That's just, all. just planning ahead. So if I were to, no, see, I can't do anything fun at all, right? I can't go over there and just start like doing things. Only you want to show us your much. watch? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I know. I am wearing a beautiful watch today. Let's oh, see. your, what your we, real what watch? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, yeah. The real one? Gerard Perigo, 1939, I think. Beautiful watch. Big, um, big watch. The guy who keeps a beating heart in his pocket, Reese. That's so sweet. How come all you ladies are saying I'm never getting married again? I love getting married. Guys, weddings are so much. Marrying again? No, Farrell Cheryl. Some people never get married. What's the point? I like it. I think it's fun. And you know, Until what? it isn't. Until it isn't. That's true. Yeah. You know, I mean, there are. The concept is fantastic. I have watched I have watched it work beautifully for people in the past, and it's beautiful when it happens. It really is, you know. When you see two people who are who are wildly in love, you ever been at like a coffee shop or a restaurant or whatever, and you see, you know, two people in their eighties or whatever, and they're just locked in eye contact, right? They're holding one hand, 
You know, like the food's an afterthought. And they're just sitting there talking to one another. And you think, you know what? That might be the coolest effing thing I've ever seen in my life. Right? Maybe it doesn't happen very often. You know what happened to me today? I went to lunch and they were having a birthday party for this really cute old guy. He was like in his probably 90s. I mean, the guy looked really old. And he started walking toward me with his walker. And I was like, oh, yeah, come this way. Walk this way. <laughs> and then, of course, his 90-year-old wife got up and was walking next to him. And I was like, that's a shit. Dang it. I thought he was, yeah. I thought he was single. Uh, I'm not getting married again after this one kicks it. Dirty mouse. Yeah. Dang, girl, that's dark. Okay, okay, all right. Meeting the man of your dreams and then meeting his beautiful woman in the uh, walker. Yep. It's not exactly how the song goes, but it's something. It's Alanis Morissette. Um, it is. It is. I, um, that happens to me all the time. That happens. I see him all the time. And then there's his, his wife and, you know, kind of ruins the moment when she shows up. It happens yeah, to me at Whole no, Foods a lot. That. Yeah. No, I, I was uh, flirting it up with a dude the other day at Whole Foods because he was really tall. And I like tall guys. And Jeff was over at the deli and I was ran away real quick to go try to flirt it up. And uh, he Great. was cute and he liked me back. I could tell. And I was like, can you reach that? And I did the, <laughs> and he was like, ah. he was like, of course. Uh, and no. cause I am short and he got it down for me. And I was like, thanks. And then his wife showed up from the deli and I was like, Oh, okay. oh bummer. ruined it. Ruined it. When he, when he grabbed it for you, did he kind of do it like from behind? So his arm was above your shoulder as he, uh, he did. He, he did actually. Okay, yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 that's the uh, go, that's the go ahead move to be sure. Uh, Why do you stoked. do you do that too to people? No, no, I just read about it somewhere, but that's definitely the go ahead move. You saw it in a book. A you deep, know what's interesting is that is all the answers of every man. Whenever I ask Jeff something and I'm jealous, he's like, "No, I right. read about that." Why do you guys do that? Oh yeah, but the difference is we all know I read a crap load of books, right? I mean, I had a lot of time on my hands. I did a lot of reading. Those other people, they're lying. I read a lot. That's all. Hmm. Well, I was bummed. I was truly bummed. I, for a second, I thought I was really getting somewhere with the guy. And I, again, I was doing the, the lashes and smiling and yep. Then she showed up and I was like, Oh, forget it. Never mind. And uh, oh, I, I told bummed. you about the hottie at, uh, I told you about the hottie at uh, target. Right. It was looking okay. Straight that at was me. weird. No, that was no. weird. She was like 19. No, she wasn't 19. She was 17. She was in her twenties, but okay. the whole, my mom loves you. It was just, it was the funniest thing ever. It really was. If it had been on film, I think it would have gone viral. Cause I went, hey. um, it was pretty funny. I think if you had watched it, you would have gotten a kick out of it. My grandma is a huge fan. <laughs> <laughs> right. Tommy, don't lie it up, by the way. We know that the girls, every time you leave the house, every time you leave the house. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, no question. Do you know how often I leave the house? Huh? You'd be shocked. No, I wouldn't, because you're often unavailable when you and I are going to talk. You're like, call me in three hours. I got to. So never the truth. Never the what? truth. She makes, she makes these things up on the fly. Okay. The okay. Um, yeah. Well, hey, look, there's Lisa Trimble. Hey, Lisa. Hey. I may be easy, but I'm not cheap. I like that, Lisa. That is actually describes me. That's that's yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely I like easy. I would have gone off into the woods with Ted Bundy, but I am not cheap. And he had money. He went to law school. He uh yeah, he did go to law school. He was a bad man. You'd have been safe, fortunately. Wrong hair Why? color. Oh, yeah, I thought you were going to uh, say you're too chubby. Oh no 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 no! You were uh, you were you're beautiful, but you have the wrong hair color. He uh, he had a thing for uh, for dark hair. Did he really? Yes, he was recreating a girl that he had lost as a uh, as a youngster, and he was going after people that looked identical. That girl is actually still alive and has uh, been interviewed. <laughs> yeah. Like, I have time for this. That's interesting. I did not know that. True story. Hmm. True story. So, you, um, know you, you know, Patty's son uh, lives in Tucson. And Tommy, speaking of Tucson, I'm a little depressed that this week 
um, I would have gone had I known about it. There's some huge gem sh show there. The, yeah, like the biggest gem uh, show in the like uh, in the known universe, right? Isn't this like the gem show? I didn't know that until a couple of my friends posted about it, and then honestly, I would have flown for that. I would have gone, and a bunch of people were like, "You should have come. We would have met you here." Like that's a shame. What a missed opportunity. I think I'm gonna go to it next year, though. Yeah. What it's are you not doing? Necessarily a, a missed opportunity. I mean, you still have got some time. It's not like it's starting in 15 minutes, right? I mean, I think it's going on right now and probably over. I don't know. Right, well, it's so amazing. I was, yeah, Tina talks. I wish I would have gone. I'm actually, you know, I wish I would have. Yeah, I wish I had uh, actually. But last year, I remember people going last year and then coming back to one of the shows that I used to do for uh, for antiques and talking about just how fantastic it was and blah, blah, blah. But I didn't. To pick your next engagement ring. Yes. Yes. You know, again, idea. I love these things. This is uh, one of my favorites out of all of them. Yeah. And um, yeah, I just, I intend to just keep stacking them. Good for you. Right. Get your nice? question. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm good at it. It's not, it's not a bad thing. I'm really good at it. I enjoy being married. There's nothing wrong with saying that. No. Okay. No. Well, I, want hey, to tell you I, was, I was a fan. I was absolutely a fan of being married. I dug it. I Were really you good did. at it? Uh, at being a husband? Yeah. yeah, I think I was. I honestly Were think you I really? was. Um, yeah, I mean, there was, there was a huge, uh, you know, there was a real problem with the fact that I had a, uh, a drug problem. I mean, that's a, that's um, really a huge uh, issue, yeah. you know, but um, yeah, I mean, you know, there are, uh, I certainly, um, the loving thing was not an issue, you know, the, uh, but my fault. I mean, drugs, drugs absolutely cause all of all problems, you know. Drugs but, definitely uh, will get in the way of that. Absolutely. I would think, Tommy, I would think that you would still be married to your previous wife if that wasn't the case, don't you? Yeah, I probably would have been married to either of my uh, previous wives if it had not been for drugs. Yeah. Yeah, to be yeah. sure. But um, drugs were a very big thing, you know. And that's an issue. Not anymore, it's not. Uh, I like this from Lizbeth. Love you, girl. Love you back. Let's see. Tommy, new to the lifeboat. And you got me into going to the gym for the mentals. Heading there now. I'll be listening. Have fun. I'll good for you. Awesome. How good is that? Right? How good is that? You need a cigarette after watching these two? Stick around. Right? <laughs> Hoping he's going to dial it up even more. Honestly, guys, right. I was. I'm, yet, it's not even. You're not, this again. isn't even the full show. It's not even no, the full show. No, yet. no. Normally by this time, we're what are we? Thirty three minutes in. Normally by now, I'm not wearing a shirt. Yeah, um, we want to see the watch too before you go. I, Speaking I of watches, remember. Tommy, you still haven't held up your end of the deal on that. I've asked you thrice. Thrice. To send me uh, polar porn. Yeah, he is a watch swinger. He's a bit of a watch swinger. Um, I um, I have been asked. I've asked thrice for uh -huh. photos. I would like to purchase. Are you? Do you not accept? Do you not want money? This makes me mad. It's like you don't want. You you just too good for this. I would like to purchase a watch, and you keep sending me different pictures of watches that I didn't ask for. Um, it is. Uh... <laughs> Well, it's really funny the way you said that too. Uh, no, I absolutely uh, uh, I'm I'm picking out the perfect uh, the perfect thrice you say. I'm picking thrice. out thrice. I've perfect... asked thrice, thrice, and I have sent uh, pictures far more than three pictures of uh, of and watches. Video. However, and video, that? correct. And now before you get all your watch, owl, I mean I do own a lot of watches. You're gonna walk through, right? It wasn't. And, you know, you have to show them that they work. You know what I mean? Uh, I love that, Casey. That? I'm glad to have him back. I've been waiting on him for a long time. And he's finally here with us, Tina Talks. Yes, he is. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm probably going to jump in the water more often. It was a, uh, I'm telling you, the shock was absolutely unbelievable. But it, I was uh, hoping it, it was me, funk. but whatever. If it's the water, it's the water. Okay. Well, you're the reason I jumped in the water. Right? 
He said, really? yeah, you think you can do this? I said, I am going to go throw myself in freezing water so that I can do this with you because I very much wanted to come on. Okay. Huh. Yeah. All right. I mean, I, I, mean that. I hope you don't have to go jump into freezing water every time you're going to do a show with me, though. That that doesn't exactly make a girl feel good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, like, I feel like record, you're like, all right, you're like, got to talk to this bitch. Let's wake up. Look, for the record, um, these these watches that um, they are real watches. I'm not showing uh, what's the you people. Ooh, I like this one. I need a watch repair. I'm known for that. Is there an only fan channel for Tommy special watch? Stay tuned, Armine. Uh, actually, there might be. We might do one together because I'm wanting to cash in on it as well, and I think that I have lovely feet. Um, the and Tommy has a nice very, watch. Very, yeah, very, very high uh, arches, and that's a that's a real thing in the uh, in the feet department. And yeah. uh, I have a a very large watch collection. That is what they're calling it, John Shamwowski. <laughs> well, um, I was really refer anyway. Uh, can I help wind your watch? Uh, oh, and then, I love you, and Matt. It's just keep going. What if you want to sell a watch? Oh yeah, absolutely. I uh, I do that as well. Happy Aww. birthday to your grandson, Patty. That's so yeah, cute. That's so cool. Um, I love yeah. that. I do too. That is so cool. Hey, Mr. Watch Fixer. Can you get me a new battery? Uh, I can. I can do that. Can you give me a little Although, jump you know start? what? The cheapest, honestly, the cheapest way in the entire world to do that is to go to Batteries Plus. Those people are fantastic. What if and we don't want the cheapest? What if we want it done right? Then, uh, then you can do it through me, and I, uh, I will send you eight by ten glossies of the entire process, <laughs> and maybe some video. That's right, which I do. Um, my first husband had a serious foot fetish. Best foot massages ever. What is it with guys and feet? It's weird. Women don't have that. I've never heard of a woman obsessed with feet. Can you explain yeah, that to I, us? Because you kind of like feet too. You're weird about it. No, I like feet. I absolutely felt like feet. Um, did someone say that I was a ginger? Or are they talking about a different ginger? Because that would be actually kind of funny. I'm like, um, Reese, I want to pay more. <laughs> we want the uh, best, Tommy. And be the sure. The best watches do. don't need batteries. That's absolutely the truth. The best batteries do not need uh, Jody, you're not supposed to uh, think feet are uh, are attractive because they're gross. Yes, I will wear my uh, coat while I fix your watch. Absolutely, absolutely. I love that. I'm a fan Maybe of you feet. Could I do. Send I do me a love picture feet. of your watch whilst wearing your coat. Wow, a guy stalked you in Target and wanted to take pictures of your feet. Well, that's I would bizarre. have allowed it if he had money. Was he Venmoing right? you? I. That's, that's different. bizarre. This was not in Tucson, was it? I'm just saying. I wasn't there. There are on. lesbians who like feet, apparently. Okay, oh. I believe that. You guys really like these glasses. I'll continue. I like those you. glasses a lot. Oh, wow. your grandson is a redhead. Oh, yeah, cool. Oh, that's so cute. I love gingers. Um, Dirty feet, clean feet. What are we talking here? Shelly, there's just something about the way that you said that that really kind of freaked me out. I don't know what it is, but I'm not going to lie to you. Your feet are covered in tattoos. Oh, I forgot. I have a tattoo on my foot. Of the polo, dude? Yeah, I have the top of my foot tattooed. I forgot. So do I. Do you? Do you mm -hmm. have the whole top then? Yeah. Well, nice. I mean, I don't know. A little bit, yeah. Um. Okay, good, Lumen. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Uh, you can selling pictures of your feet. Where can I do this? Um, no, there are absolutely people who are super, super into that. Um, and you know, it's horrible. Tampa B man. I know Tampa B man is a fan of uh, watches. She mentioned several uh, mm -hmm. watches. I think I mm -hmm. sent her pictures of, uh, of several watches. Let's just hope that they got to the right Tampa B. You know what I'm saying? Just, just on the outside chance that I sent those watches to the wrong people. Can you imagine the embarrassment? Um, no, they really are just watches, but still. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, it's interesting, though, that you sent her pictures of your watch when I have asked thrice. I have sent you pictures of watches thrice. Yeah, your watch. I'd like to see a potential watch that I could have. Polar porn. Yes, um, I have Fred Flintstone feet, as a uh, matter of fact. I bet you do. Um, I, uh, I'm serious. I, you know, I'm trying to make it big in my life and, uh, having a fancy watch would be part of that. So would you quit messing around and prove it? Yes, absolutely. Right. Absolutely. I will do this. Whilst thrice. she haveth asked thrice. Whilst she haveth asked thrice. There shan't sir, be a fourth. Sir Thomas. How would that be? There shan't be a fourth, but there should not be a fourth. How would that be? All right, someone Brent. Says, do, you, do you know that someone says that there's what? Uh, the uh, sexual tension is what makes your collapse. The sexual tension. There's I no have tension. sexual tension everywhere I go, Brent. It happened Dude, in no the foods. There's no sexual tension. It she happened in the soup aisle. The prom. She said she's going to the prom. Listen, I'm not trying to bum anybody out, but let me tell you what happened in the last three proms. What did happen? I had them home by nine o'clock. Everything was good. Parents weren't angry. Nothing. I was a good guy. You didn't bone down at any of them? I can't, I can't back that up. I can't back that up at all. Okay. Those I was going to say, that doesn't really sound Those like you. I have the uh, I have the largest bull of a uh, watch collection you've ever seen. It would scare the hell out of you. I think I have hundreds and hundreds of them. No, um, actually, the, I'm batting a thousand on uh, on proms. If you want to know the truth, doing pretty well on the prom thing. Yeah. And well, romantic, we're gonna have a. It. You know, um, nothing says romance like the back seat. TikTok. Of a, uh, That's right, Katie. Chop. Yeah, chop. You know you know what the the oversized diamond? Here's the thing: like I can see 36, the 36 millimeter, but when you start getting bigger than that, you know what that's going to look like on a wrist? It's going to look like an alarm clock. Like I don't have a problem going bigger than the 26 that all of the women get, like going to the next size. But man, you don't want that huge thing. Honestly, it would just look silly. It would. It would look silly. I mean, it's. I don't. It's I don't want that huge that. thing. Oh, the it watch. Is bigger than that. Yeah. Right. Tommy, no, I, mean, I don't want, I want the 36 is fine, but there shan't be a fourth is what we're saying. And we're tired yeah. of the nonsense. Thrice yeah. is as far as it's going to get. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Just, just get it. Just please do it. I need to know what okay. you got. I need to see your collection other than your collection that you, you know, that I've seen. I'd like to see the other collection. Okay. Was okay. that, what, can I at least get a, you know, what my, my, First watches were impressive. They just weren't what you were looking for. I mean, is it, you know? No, actually, I really liked them a lot, but okay. they were a little masculine. You know what I mean? I'd like something a little that. more feminine. I get and, that. Uh, I get that. Brent is correct. We assure Reese wants the huge one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, we'll, uh, Reese. We'll... <laughs> Threes. Um, no, no, I no. It's like just a watch. This is more than just a... Lisa Marie. It's probably is but you know what you're gonna that's it's like a movie where they don't really tell you and they leave it up to you that's what this is you know i'm gonna leave it up to you show us yeah. your wrists reese uh, i don't have do you, big wrists they say there there's some mathematic mathematician thing that you can figure out by wrists by like figuring out the size of wrists but i can't remember what it is it's uh it's something I wouldn't say I have dainty wrists, but I don't have big wrists. I'm like my mom. I have skinny little ankles, very high arches, and pretty pretty little wrists. I don't have a big. I wrist. have very dainty. Uh, I have very dainty wrists myself. And, and Dain hands. you have a dainty wrist and giant I hands. Do, I do have. I have dainty wrists and dainty hands. I should have done the Seinfeld episode. How great would that have been? You have something there on your face. You have something on your face. Like that's just look at that cuff, great. Katie. Look at the lion. Very cool. Katie wanted to see it. You like him? I like him, Katie. Very, very cool. I love this cuff. Um oh good, Patty. You said some great things that helped me last night. I was on a roll last night, Patty. Thank you. I'm glad you were listening. 
Um, Verbo boss, nobody feels sorry for you. I have chihuahua legs. You have giraffe legs. I'd give anything to have giraffe legs. I'd love to be more legs in a bucket of chicken. Uh, you know something? Sorry, but this is another one of those things where you have been tainted by the world, right? Because I've actually done this once with a friend of mine. Walk through a restaurant, right? I did this. Absolutely mortified the girl. But walk through a restaurant and ask every single guy, hey, do you, do you have a problem with long legs? They'll go, ah, are you kidding? The longer, the better. Every single one of them. Because that's just what guys say, right? You got nothing to worry about if you have giraffe legs. Stop that. You're doing great. Yeah, thanks. You're making me feel worse about it. Um, Reese, what no. size is your Apple Watch? Uh, my Apple Watch is the smallest size because I do have smaller watch. wrists. Well, That's somebody asked, so we're just answering. It's, wow. It's a, it's Look, somebody gave us computer. money. Thank you, Laura. I love Laura. Laura, this kind. It's a um, risk computer. It doesn't have a beating heart. I lost it anyway. I can't find it. I dropped it on the floor and it disappeared. I think the dog ate it. So I'm... Uh, you think your dog it. ate your watch? I can't find it. Good God in heaven. I don't need it anyway. I don't use that thing at all. I would rather have a real watch, but I keep asking my friend Tommy thrice now. And uh, he says he's going to follow through. And uh, I can't use the find my on it, Lori, because Apple unpaired it with my phone because I got it. I sent it in to get it fixed. So they unpaired it. I can't use the find my app. Your thumb and your middle finger should be your wrist size. Did you hear this? Right. Do you believe that? What? Okay. Yeah, that's what the, the, the um. Frenchy what does that Wolf mean? Says. What's that mean? Oh, it's like this that, should be able to go around your wrist. Like from this to your thumb and your middle finger should be. Your oh, wrist that's side. a total fact. Look, yeah. Doesn't work on mine. Doesn't work on mine. I got about a half inch gap there. Um, and the, uh, the length of your arm from the inside of your elbow to the wrist should be your foot cell. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. Uh, yeah, I can see that. That makes sense. Don't you have big feet? I have fairly big feet. I have fairly big feet. None of those things are true people. That's just rumors made up by my great grandfather. You know, I just remembered now because a bunch of people asked you who made this. Um, this is such a special cuff. It doesn't move. It's very hard. This is very hard. Look at his mane. Isn't that cool, you guys? Brooke Elliott, I think, was asking and Katie. Um, this is Alex, Alexa. Um, oh, my God. Shit. Sorry. Alexa. I just went blank on it again. Somebody help me. Alexa, Alexis, Alexis Batar. It's uh, Brooke Elliott. It's Alexis Batar. Yes. Thank you, Katie. Um, what now? What's wrong with you, Tommy? What's going on? It is Nothing. a lion, Brit. It's a lion. So it's, it's, uh, it's mane is like that. It's all the metal. It's very heavy. And then it's all diamond encrusted his face. It's such a cool cuff. Do, 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 do. What are you doing, Aww. Tommy? What's going on with you? Someone is saying, stop saying Alexa, because every time you do, it's causing everybody's thing to go nuts. I'm sorry. Yeah. What, what's going on with happens. you? Are you distracted? Nah, my son is sending me texts, but that's no problem. Funnily big deal. enough, Katie, Alexis Batar is a man. I thought she would, I thought it was a woman too. Alexis Batar is a man. Really cool jewelry designer. Anyway, um, Tommy, it would have been cool. Wow. You love getting married. Me too. See, normalize it. I've married three men and married the current husband and three time. What? They both have, they all have ED or they're all named Ed. I need to know the difference. Wait, three times EDs. Like they all have erectile dysfunction or they're all named Ed. Wow. Which is it, Bummer. Laura? That's amazing. Laura, yeah, see, I mean there's nothing wrong with getting married over and over, Tommy. Quit telling me it's wrong. I didn't tell you it was wrong in the first place. But you made a face. No, I didn't make a face. Did you I probably didn't. I don't no, think I you actually did. No. Um, yeah, there is a big difference. Were they all Ed or they all had ED? Because that's a shame. 
Uh, I don't think, um, I don't think that would be good for me. Do you girls remember in sex in the city when Charlotte marries Trey and she's like, we've never had sex and they've been married a month. And Samantha's like, you've never had sex. And she's like, not ever. He can't get it up. Oh my God. Can you imagine? No, no, I can't. That's um, uh, how many times has Tommy I'm, been married? Seven. It, it may, uh, it may happen to me at some time. Like that could be uh, happening in my future. Right. Who knows? What, that you'll get ED? No, yeah, I mean, it could happen. Or that you'll get married. Um, well, I could get married, I suppose, but uh, ED happens, like that kind of thing happens. The old E you know what I mean? But uh, I will be uh, I will be staying ahead of the curve, I assure you. If um, if you got married, Tommy, would you live stream your wedding? Um, I don't know. Maybe. I think it probably depends on who you're marrying because she might be it, weird about it. It does. It does. Yeah. How about how about uh, live streaming the honeymoon on um, uh, fans only? Huh? That would be amazing. I would do it. Um, I would not. What do people really stay in sexless marriages? Yvonne, it's not for me, girl, but I am incredibly shallow. Um, you know, I mean, there, for some people, you know. You know, I guess for some people, that's uh, it's not as big a uh, a thing, right? No, I have not been married seven times. I don't know. Who's I just started that rumor. You start you started that rumor. I have not been married uh, seven. Lisa times. Marie, you'll not, do the makeup for my wedding. Can you do hair? There too? are not seven people in America that would marry me. Um, I think also. Let's see. So we got Joe Virus to do the um, the DJ. He's going to DJ the wedding, and then I found a caterer in the crowd last night. She's gonna. We could do food trucks, or she can cater the food. So I think this was just perfect. Tommy, are you not excited? I'm not laughing at some of the things that people said. No, no, I'm absolutely uh, excited. I'm absolutely excited. I uh, no, I dig. I dig marriages. Marriages are fun. Yeah. Oh, Reese, weren't you in a sexless marriage with Fred? Yeah, I guess I was. Um, Fred was so much fun though. And, um, Fred could do, he, he made other things happen. So it, I know that he was old and some of his, the equipment didn't work. Fred was frisky as all get out. And he could trust me. He still loved to get a hold of me. Um, on the day he died, he did this. He squeezed Aww. my boobs on hospice. It was so cute. But yeah, no, guys, Fred was frisky. Don't, don't, don't let his age fool you. He just couldn't. Oh, that's uh, so cool. He couldn't make John Thomas happen. That was his name. He named him John Tom or John Henry. I think his name was John Henry. Uh, yeah. So that's a little different. We need a seamstress for the dress. I don't have to do that. Yadira. I'm a little unoriginal there. Like I don't need, I would probably do a caftan. Like it would be beachy. Um, Tommy, if you were going to get married again, how would you do it? I would, I think I want a beachy one this time. I, I love the idea of, uh, of nature weddings. Beaches are pretty cool. You know, mountains are cool. Anything like that. I, I don't mountains like the idea cool. of doing it inside. Oh yeah. Been, Ken I Cole. Like I forgot. Thing. Ken Cole's going to plan it. He's a wedding planner. Shut um, up. How, how cool is that? People really rose to the occasion last night when I, uh, I made my wedding dress. I can do yours too, Reese. See what I mean? It's just like, this is just a one-stop shop here. Um, yeah. Tommy, is this making you uncomfortable? Look at that. I forgot Armina makes cakes. She can make the cake. I love it. You got to be woofing me. You literally got the entire thing. You got the entire got the thing, thing already dialed in. Oh, Lori actually sings. She'll be the wedding singer. I wow. love that. Um, ditto that. Deb, Reese, you may, you wait, let me start over. Cause I'm a little excited about this. I got so many people planning this wedding with me, Reese, you helped my soul heal though. You through you, I found Tommy who's helping me understand my son who is in oh, rehab and my heart is breaking. Love you both. Ditto Deb, Tommy, do you want to take that first? Cause I'm really proud of her and I appreciate her coming forward and saying that. No, that's, that's, uh, that's awesome. That really is. And uh, thoughts and prayers going out to your uh, to your boy. You know what? People people can come back. You know, a lot of times. And it I seems believe like that. They can. Absolutely. Yeah, and I think he will. And I'm really proud of you, girl. Thank you for being here with us. We support you. I think that's amazing. I really do. It I is. think that's amazing. No question. We're here for you. Just know that the lifeboat and whatever this channel is called, we're here for you. 
Um, I was I was going to give it a really dirty name at the time, but I think I'm going to let that one. Do you remember so, somebody called it the relatable boat? The relatable boat. See, I dig that. That's that. I mean, there's really something to that. That uh, um, and that's actually kind of safe. Doesn't even sound dirty. No, it's you not at all. Like, Reese's no. house. Yeah, it is a one stop shop. Um, oh, can you be maid of honor? Absolutely. Tommy, would you come to it? Yes. Yes, I would. You would? Absolutely. I yeah, absolutely. Um, I I was hoping everybody else would as well. Yeah. I can do absolutely. oh my God. Tommy. Tommy, yeah. here's our big fan. Dr. Gretchen, who I interviewed yesterday. She's our psychologist. Oh, <laughs> she nice. can do the premarital counseling. Nice. You guys, Gretchen's here. I love her. She can do the premarital. I love that. Bo Beats, See, Brent, I love you too, babe. Look at this. Thank you. Brent assumed you would be marrying me. See that? Um, so if you're marrying someone else, I want you to know that I still absolutely would be there. You know what I mean? I would not let that get in the way. I really would not. Um, um, well, Brent, you know what? Um, and I would want to go just around the corner to give you a big, you know, like fur coat hug and say, listen, I want you to know that I'm going to be happy for you. And no matter what you do in the future, and I'm really going to be there for you. And we're going to need about seven minutes while I, uh, let you know just how much I'm going to be here for you. Maybe 15. Hey, we're friends. Right. I love that. Is that too much to ask? 15 I mean, minutes? Four. 15. Yeah. Just to, I'm not sure I can only imagine what you mean by that, but I think that is so kind. Um, 15 is all it takes. Yeah. I mean, me. before your wedding. Yeah. I just want to, I, I just want you to know that I'm going to be here for you no matter what. What a stand up guy. You know, I, I kind of, uh, I kind of pride myself on that. I, I, mean? um, I really do. Oh. Yep. He's a 15 minute. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I um, did uh I did kind of lose my my thoughts there when he said that guys. Um oh look at Barb. I'll play handbells as you walk down. That is so sweet. That is so sweet. Shauna does make a good point though. Marriage is the leading cause of divorce. So what? You then know? you get married again. That's what I mean. You, know you only get a few you know of it's these. really awful. Huh? For real? You know the second leading cause of divorce? It's me. I'm not going to lie to you. You're the leading Broken. cause of divorce? No, I'm the second leading cause of divorce. What does that mean? Man, I've, I've broken up a few by accident. It's not what you think. It's, it's that I get blamed for all kinds of things, right? Because I was just that dude, right? So you could always blame whatever it is you were doing on while I was with Tommy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I really was never... Anyway, I was the scapegoat for, for just... A lot of people. I love you, Lisa Tremble. Tommy, I don't know what that means, and you're gonna have to break okay. it down. I love the uh I love the handbells, by the way. It sounds like Barb has a uh person who would do it with her. I thought I just saw what do you do with the extra? That's very, very funny. That's very, very funny. And for the record, it's 13 minutes, but there's a lot to talk about. You know what I mean? That's this, weird. I'm a 12 married. minute person. I'm 12 minutes. Yeah, we, Tommy wants to cram in a lot of chatting in that time because he's yeah. very talky. Yes, he's I a do. cancer sign. Yeah. What's our That's color right. scheme? You know, I've never had, I've only had one wedding, guys, out of my three marriages. I've only had one wedding. So that's what I mean. You only get a few of these. Um, yeah. I don't know much about color schemes. Yeah. Um, what are you going to do? Play football? Have fun. Um, as a trained florist, I'll do the flowers if you were ever to miss. Look at this, Tommy. We It is a one-stop shop. We're literally set. Right? We're literally set. <laughs> this is amazing. I'm going to live stream. Is there, divorce is can there, be fun, too. Is there, is there a divorce attorney in the back? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I feel like we might be... <laughs> I feel like we might be leaving something out. <laughs> we forgot just, one thing. I'm, I'm kidding, people. Actually, you know, there is. On, my friend I'm read kidding, me. My friend I'm read kidding. me. Uh, peace. I'm, yes, Peacely, you people, can be I'm a flower kidding. girl. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. He's joking, I'm, guys. That's our that's our show. Remember yeah. this now. Our show is kidding. I know kidding. a great divorce lawyer. I don't need your help. 
No, I'm kidding. For real, I'm kidding. Come on. Lighten up. No, I really am kidding. <laughs> but seriously, I do. Not okay. Kidding. No, you guys, he's joking. I am he's joking. joking. People are going to get really mad, but I am joking. Look right? at this. Shelly is a photographer. Hey, Shelly, how do you feel about, you know, the watch? Photography. She's in. <laughs> right. Yeah. Do you do do you do video as well? Uh, a divorce party too? Um, um maybe the next day. I don't want to try to jam that into one day. That seems mean. Yeah, we could get uh Zach in the chat. He's a lawyer. Uh my friend Ren oh, B. Oh, nice. Yeah. Interesting. Guys, I think we're set. Um, I think this is really good. Yeah. I like this. I would I would expect all of you to attend. Like, I'm serious. I think it would be so... Tommy, I think it would be so much fun. And Show you know it. what? Then you just get divorced. If it doesn't work, you get divorced. I'm a big believer. What's this now? Shelly's married to a farmer and they get down all the time. So quit trying to flirt you, with my did friend, Did you Shelley. read what she was saying? Also, Tommy, it's to rude. Do. Did you read what she was saying? I wanted her to film us and I said, hey... How do you feel about that kind of film? And she wrote, absolutely, I do that. So I said, hey, give us a call. <laughs> it was the, uh, I was hoping for a, uh, a, a wedding video. Yeah. You're not acting right. Why don't you start acting right? It Tommy was a and wedding Reese video. Okay. Are my safe space. Reese brings joy and light into my life whenever I am down. Tommy and the boat provide connection and the love when I'm struggling. Together equals priceless. Brit P., I love that. That is so cool. It really is. I love that, Britt P. Thank you for saying it. And Gretchen, yeah. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, Cricket, a destination way. I can help with the travel. Right, she's our she's our travel gal. If I get married again, it will only be for money. Lisa, a hundred percent, girl. I'm not getting married. Do you know what? I I don't I don't see a problem with that. I really don't. I don't even I don't even think that's a messed up thing to say. I'm sorry, I oh don't. Oh my god. Yvonne says make better choices, Tommy. Oh, I got news for you. I got news for you. Seriously. Any what any kind? idea who you're talking about? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I, yeah, um, well, it could have been the I was honestly anyway. I I said this the other day in a live, Tommy, and I don't care. I don't care if it's shallow. I would never marry a broke ass dude. Like, I don't yeah. want to spend my money. I want to spend his money. And I'm not saying I want to spend a lot. As a matter of fact, I have one of uh, Jeff gave me when we got married his American Express card, right? I uh -huh. hardly use it. I haven't used it in over a month. And I asked him about it yesterday and he said, you don't ever use it. I don't abuse it, but I want to be able to spend your money if I feel like spending money. I'm not marrying some right. broke dude. I know that's yeah. like, that's like a thing. You're not supposed to say that. No, no. I think that that's, I, I think it's legit. And I think it's refreshing that you can say that out loud and not feel like you're uh, like, um, like, like you're a bad person for saying that. I don't feel really like a bad person I, for saying it. Like I shouldn't. want to be taken care of. And why would I, here's the thing. I'm not going to marry somebody if I have to pay my own way all the time. Like then I don't want to get, it turns me off. I don't want to be married. I, I am turned on. I'm okay. I'm shallow. I'm turned on by the fact that like I'm protected. I'm taken care of. My husband can pay for things. I'm not going to marry some broke dude that can't, can't do that. No, I, I, there's nothing wrong with that at all. I, I, in fact, I really don't think that that's even messed up. Right. I don't even think that's messed up. I don't at all. Um, and I'll be really honest with you. You know, the, uh, I can, I can get to know a person and fall in love with anyone's personality enough to, to marry anyone. And that's the truth. But if I look at their face and I don't go, wow, that person's beautiful. I'm way too shallow to ever find out what they're like. Right. I am definitely a face guy. I make, I make look, I make contact. I look at someone's face and, and that's usually where the, the spark happens or the spark doesn't happen. And that's the bottom line. And if it doesn't happen, she could have five million dollars. And uh, you know, same. I'm the same. I can't yeah. marry somebody that I'm not attracted to. I don't honestly care about what's in their wallet. If here's my thing too, no broke ass dudes, Jen Jen. Here's my thing too, Tommy. And I said this the other day. This is the truth. I say I'm shallow. I'm actually not. 
I would never, ever, ever be with a man. I don't care if he had billions of dollars. I'm serious. I couldn't do it if he was an asshole. Like if he was rude, right. if he was like, you know, tore me down, called me fat, any of those things, rude to service people, rude in any way in, in life. Like if he was a total dick, no way. Yeah. Mm -mm. So I am not money motivated like that. You have to be like, we have to click, but you also have to have money. Like you have to have some money. I'm not, right. I said this, I'm not hot enough to be with a millionaire. I realize that like, I'm just not, I don't have, these are, you know, small, but I think I'm hot enough to be with like a half millionaire. <laughs> half millionaire. Okay. Don't you think? Yeah. Well, I, you know, I think that that's, it, it doesn't really work like that. Because what makes somebody beautiful is not something that you could determine by looking at somebody even in a video. I'm not BSing when I say that beautiful is a choice. And I have met people that are inexplicably the sexiest people on the planet. But if you were to introduce them to someone who's never met them, they would go, oh, yeah, I don't see it. But by midnight, they'll be going, oh, my God. Because there is just something about people that can... Um, Literally. Uh, Look at Yvonne explaining sort of, that comment. What's that? When she said make better choices, Tommy, now she's explaining what she meant by it. Tommy was uh, asking someone to take photos of him, and I heard in my head telling Tommy to make better choices. No, I was referring for our um, for our uh, our wedding night. See, we were kind of getting the... Um, my, uh, yeah, my choices are... I'm not, the, I'm not famous for... Uh, you know, it would be fun to live stream your honeymoon, but not the gross parts that like no one wants to see. You mean the but good parts? There's, there are no gross parts of honeymoons. Okay. Nobody wants to see me with my clothes off, Tommy. Let's just put it that way. I'm saying the good parts, like if you went to Hawaii and you were like, you know, walking around and, you know, buying stuff and eating enchiladas, I think that would be fun. I'm a fan of enchiladas. I got to be really honest on my honeymoon. I'm not eating a lot of enchiladas. What are you going to eat? I'm not leaving my, uh, the honeymoon suite. Yeah. Really? Yeah, really. And nor am I calling room service for that matter. Oh my God, that's so cute. Yeah. See, everyone knows. Yeah, see that? Plenty of stuff. It's uh, yeah. beautiful. Absolutely I actually beautiful. Um, fell into that. I did not mean to open that door. I truly, I was innocent. But then when uh, I came out, um, I got to be, uh, really, be really honest with you. I, and maybe, you know what? I don't know. Maybe I'm I'm a uh, I'm toxically masculine and I'm all kinds of other problems, right? But I'll be really honest with you. If I'm ready to get uh, to get married, the uh, I got no desire to eat anything on that uh, on that wedding night. For real, I'm not. Uh, I got no desire to eat anything on that wedding night. I got I got no desire to drink anything. You're probably gonna have to be like, hey, Tommy, drink some water. I don't want you to fall down, right? You're gonna have a you're gonna stroke out. You need to drink a little bit more water. Hold on. I guess I'm, I got to back up here. Let me back that thing up. Hold on. Why are you not going to eat or drink at your wedding? I'm not referring to the wedding. I'm referring to the part where you get rid of everybody around you. And it's just you and that person that you've decided you want to spend the rest of your life with, right? You go into one of those rooms and you stick a little thing on the outside of the door that says, do not disturb. I'm probably not going to eat much. And in fact, I'm probably going to get myopic. You know, this term, Right, where your focus gets so focused that everything else around you just kind of falls away. Well, I tend to get myopic and to the point where if somebody doesn't remind me to perhaps drink some water, I can get dehydrated and fall down. This is a thing. This is a thing. It happens sometimes when I'm working on watches or whatever. I don't necessarily feel the thirst other people's feel other people feel. And on that honeymoon, I, I don't see me getting on the phone and going, hey, I'd like a cheeseburger and uh, maybe a Coca-Cola. Not much chance of me picking up the phone for that one. I'm just saying. Sorry. Should I have lied? I should have been lying. Huh? That, that, would that have been a better time to lie? Yeah, my bad. Let me start again. Um, you know what? 
I'm, I'm a big fan of steak, maybe surf and turf. You know what I mean? Like, um, you know, lobster, uh, lobster and steak. And um, yeah, uh, I don't um, know. Tommy, I think this uh, this took it. This took a turn. Um, I think all the ladies in here right now are um, possibly experiencing. You, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you, you, you did really kind of ask. I mean, I honestly got to no intention of going that with the you know, just Some serious snail trails. <laughs> well, that's a lovely way to. Uh, that's a lovely way to. Put it. That, it's just. Uh, Excuse me. <clears throat> well, that was fun, wasn't it? That was um, that was really yeah. fun, you guys, and. Uh, <laughs> Um, uh, yeah. yeah, it's rare that I don't have anything to say, but he uh, and get, and he guess took what? the words right out of my mouth. Hey, guess what? All uh, all BS, <laughs> all BS aside, that cleanup on aisle two, I got that too. <laughs> no trip. Oh shit. No, uh, okay. no reason to make no reason to make that call. I'll get that. <laughs> Inappropriate heifer. Good looking out. Uh, no, no need, no need. I'll, uh, I'll take care of that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it yeah. sounded good, but uh, we're good. Yeah, All right. We're good. You know what? Um, <laughs> Shambot. <laughs> this was really fun. You know, honestly, this I think was... I needed this. I needed it, Tommy, and I knew that you could supply it. I knew you could you know supply what? what I was needing. You know what? This is uh, this is the the love is strong in this one. Shelly, you're a pisser. That's funny. Yeah, um, I'm. Uh, you need a, you you know, need a cold shower. Um, I'm really I, glad that you I could come to the party. What's that? I'm glad you could come to the party. Oh yeah, no, uh, I'm, uh, I'm coming on the cruise too. So, uh, are you really? Oh, I, I've made that perfectly clear. Okay. Well, oh, well, I forgot. Um, uh, I, I don't remember really anything before now, but it's coming back now. Uh, it was cloudy. I, I forgot that you were going to be my prom date. Yeah. 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 And in fact, if you back up right here, we'll, we'll do this. We'll do this for our friends, right? Put up, uh, put up twin, uh, put twin forever up there for me. Would you put what? Oh, I said, put up. Yeah. Twin I gotta forever? be honest with you. All right. Yeah. I gotta be honest. He with says you. it all the time, you guys. Listen, all the time. Listen, it makes listen, me crazy. I I gotta be honest with you. I'm, yeah. I'm going on this cruise. He says it have, all the time. You, you know what else invited, he always says? I promise. You, I promise you. I promise you. You have invited me to be your prom date. Right? The entire are you gonna, world. Are you gonna? That. If you don't follow through and you stand me up and don't come, do you have any idea how upset people will be with you? I cannot even imagine. Not even imagine. Don't right? be that guy, Tommy. Don't be I that will, guy. I will. I will not be that guy. But you people are going to have to be, ladies and gentlemen, not start any rumors the following day. Right? In spite of the fact that I may bring her home at six a.m., does not mean we were doing anything other than checking out the nine ice cream decks. bar. They got like nine to ten decks, man. Seriously, you walk that entire ship, the sun's coming up. You feel me? I promise oh, I'll you. I'll be there. I'll be there in um, a tuxedo. In a tuxedo. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna. Uh... <laughs> Hold on. I, got to go. I love that part in that show, Katie. You make my bird twitch. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, um, lovely, Tommy. I really. Uh... Oh, I don't know what that means, Hef, but that's true. That's adorable. Tommy, um, I'm serious. I'm going to be upset because we really are going to have a prom and I asked you to go with me. So if you don't, yeah. I'm going to be upset. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm going to, uh, right. I, I am going to, uh, I am going to throw you a couple of, uh, a couple of phone numbers you might want to call. Just, uh, phone just numbers? ask him. How, yeah. Just, just ask him how the last day, how the last prom dates turned out. Just, just to make sure you're you're still on a hundred percent for the uh, for the prom, right? <laughs> just, uh, just, uh, 
Oh, uh, hey, I, you know what? I don't want to bum anybody out. I don't. I don't do. Uh, I don't do banana hammocks. I hope I don't. you don't. What is ducky? Uh, what does that mean? I don't wear. Uh, Tommy is Reese's any, ducky. I don't wear anything. Uh, I've never been much of a uh, underwear guy. Bison, Again. will he be all of our dates? I'm kind of jelly. Busy. I'm kind of jelly, girl. I don't know. Be a, be a That'll be up to Tommy. Dude. We'll leave that be up to pretty, Tommy. But I could honestly, I couldn't have pulled that. I could not have pulled that off at 18. I and, honestly feel like I'm going to be kind of a lot for him, but I will leave that up to him. I'm not going to be territorial. I will let him decide. Choose ducky, wisely, Tommy. By the way, the ducky, Choose by the way, is from the movie Pretty in Pink. If oh, I've never seen, seen it. Every pity. Uh, every, if you've not seen every single '80s movie made by John Hughes, you probably should. I've it never was, seen uh, Pretty in Pink. It was a good one. All right, okay. now I have to go get ready for my next uh, live stream. I figured. All right. And you know well, why I really have are. to leave, honestly, because I'm an old man, and when I go that long doing anything, I then have to pee. Is that terrible? Like, get your prostate real? checked. Are you volunteering for that or? Got to be somebody on the boat. Look, we've been batting Rubber a thousand. Gloves. Is there any, anybody here that checks that? I'll do it. Um, okay. Well, this was really fun, and I'm going to stay on and chat with you guys for a little bit. Um, and Tommy, uh, thank you in more ways than one for this evening. You really, uh, you really showed up for it, and I'm happy that you were able to be here. Okay. Just remember, right? You shoved all your chips in the middle of the table. I don't have right, a problem doing that. I'm not the one that's right. worried. You are. Oh, I'm not worried at all. Trust and believe okay. I'm not worried. Like, like I said, I'm batting a thousand on, the, on those. All right. Okay. Be good. Bye. Bye, -bye. You guys. You guys. You guys. Do you mind if I stay for a little bit and chat with you guys? You guys. That was really fun. That was really fun. And don't start any shit ass rumors, by the way, either. Tommy and I like to flirt. Everybody knows it. I don't want, I'm so tired of it. Somebody left me a, um, well, look at that. My uh, top shipped that I ordered on Poshmark. Um, guys, seriously, somebody left me this crappy comment yesterday and she was like, um, I don't like how you uh, talk about your husband. I don't like it. And she said, I'm taking a break from you. I don't want to be on your channel anymore. And I was like, okay, well, take care. I was like, deleted. Get out of here. I don't want to hear any rumors, guys. Tommy is just fun to flirt with. And he's also a really good friend. So that was a lot of fun, Bonnie Bailey. That was so much fun. Yes, Carrie Ann. He's a sweetheart, isn't he? He's a really sweet guy. Um, and I'm happy that he kind of came around for a minute. I've been, yeah, bye, Felicia. I've been really, um, I know Katie Pie. I'm so sick of it, Britt P. I'm so sick of these people who are like, I don't like you and here's why. Ugh. Okay, great. Bye. Get the fuck out of here. Um, I don't know, Sherry. Guys. I've been very, uh, I know Abita, I have been very worried about Tommy. Like he hasn't been himself. We all know it. He's, he's going through some stuff and, um, I was really happy that he's seems better. Yeah. I don't understand, uh, why people do that. Yeah. Tommy is just adorable. He's so cute when he's feeling good and he's in his right mind and he gets enough sleep and he takes care of himself. He's fantastic, but I worry about him when he doesn't do that. We all do. Um, Brisby Tales, I'm so happy to see you. Heifer, you are so funny. Uh, <laughs> lights my thrice, my third cigarette. <clears throat> you are so kind to your haters. Rhonda, uh, there's not that many of them anymore. Honestly, I don't have that many, but God, there's still a few stragglers out there that are like, I just really hate how you talk about your husband, or I really hate how you talk about your vagina, or I really hate how you blah, 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 blah. It's like, okay, great. You know what? Clearly I'm not for you. Why are you trying to fit a square peg into a round hole? Go find a round hole for your round hole. Okay. Um, that sounded sexual, but it wasn't. 
Tommy was himself with you. And it's so nice to see it. I worry about him so much. So do I. <clears throat> Snot face. Hey, you're never on my channel. Good to see you, babe. I'm happy to see you. Yeah. So true, ditto, Deb. Let them, let them. <laughs> Divorce attorney. That was, he's so funny. I miss his humor. Tommy is so funny. He is a funny character. That's why I like chatting with Tommy. Honestly, I did, Abita. That really got me. I'm still not done actually being got. It got me and I'm not done being got. Um, I, um, I love Tommy's humor and I love that he's, I just, I really enjoy chatting with him. We have a similar sense of humor and when he's feeling good, it really shows when he's not feeling good, you can tell. And I just hope that he's on, I hope he's on the mend and he's getting better and better. I know rip curl readiness. There's a million. Oh my God. That was so cute. There's a million channels. Yes. Go find one that works for you. Squirrel girl, love you, babe. Love you, snot face. Exactly. <clears throat> I feel like I have something in my throat. Do these uh, same people complain to the television networks or do they know how to find another program that they like? Yeah, it's so stupid. Hold on, I'm going to clear my throat. Just not sure that that even worked. Um, <laughs> yeah, no rumors. Tommy is a good guy and Reese is a good girl. They're just friends. Lisa, thank you for saying that. Guys, Tommy is one of many people I flirt with. I like to flirt and he likes to flirt back and it's all fun. Okay. It's all in good fun. We're good friends. I love Tommy dearly and I care about him, but don't start any rumors, please. Because honestly, I don't care about the rumors. The rumors don't bother me at all, but they do get to him. And I don't, he gets depressed about that. Like he worries more about me. He'll text me and be like, <clears throat> I'm worried that so-and-so said this and I don't want you to get hurt. He's very sweet like that. Please don't start any crap. I was flirted. My husband would say, are you sure you want to waste all the flirt on that guy? You can do better. Love, humor, and confidence in a marriage. It's fun. Tony Suter, bingo. Thank you for saying that. I love that. And thank you for your super chat. <clears throat> oh, Bo Beat. Uh, I saw that. William Good using your lingo. Somebody emailed me right before the channel started the show. And I guess this dude said F off into the forever relatable Reese. That was really cool. People need to learn how to be comfortable being uncomfortable. I agree, guys. Really come out of your comfort zone just a little bit. Hey, Pentecostal bubble. You two are super fun together. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> rain virus. I'm not going to lie. I did once complain <laughs> to the television network. That's hilarious. Yeah. Yadira flirty flirts will flirt and we love flirty. Everybody loves flirty. Thank you. Nacho's mom. Yes, Brooke. Seriously. I love Tommy. I flirt just because he plays back and laughs. Yes. He's fun. He's just fun. Uh, thank you. Your lipstick is so pretty. Love that berry color on you. Thank you, babe. Thank you. Oh yeah. Right. Half. These people are so self-centered that they have to announce their departure and hurt you on their way out. So they feel they've been seen and had the last word. Honestly, that's what's wrong. What's wrong with them? Yeah, I agree. Armine. It's stupid. It's so Armine. I have a picture for you, by the way, when I woke up this morning, um, Gertie was, looked just like this and it was the cutest thing. And I was like, I got to send that to Armina. You guys look at Gert. This is what she looked like when I got up this morning. Is that so cute? Look at her. Oh my God. Armina, I thought of you. Oh my God. That looks like a painting. Ah, she's so cute. It's worse. Yeah. Ken Cole, if you were doing it in secret, then there's something to worry about. Exactly. Exactly. I know it was so cute. Sarah, that's okay. You made it. 
Dirty mouse. That's exciting. Kitty got a clean bill of health from the vet. I love to hear that. Yes. Casey love the flirty, flirty banter. My husband has been in the States for three weeks and I miss talking. Yeah. So you just talk with somebody else like that. It's harmless. Nobody's getting hurt. Jeff knows guys. He's right here in the house. Just two kids. Miss B. Havian. Yes. I know, Armine. I told when I woke up and saw that, I thought of you. I was like, wait till Armine sees this. Reese flirts with everyone. It's one of her best qualities. Guys, I am super flirty. Like, wait till you see me out in the wild. Um, I am super flirty. I know, Ken Cole. She's so cute. By the way, Ken Cole. Hey, Huxley. He's not, oh, we went outside to play football. I forgot. He told me that. Ken Cole. Guys, Ken Cole sent Huxley a gift for his Xbox. Ken Cole, I went and picked it up today. So I wanted to say thank you on the live, dude. That was amazing. You are amazing for doing that. I don't even know if Huxley knows because he got home from school not too long ago. And now he's outside playing football, which is good because now that it's nicer again, I want him outside. He's an outdoorsy kind of kid. So Ken Cole, thank you, babe. We love you. Oh, you've cloudy water, Tracy. You've missed a few. Well, that's okay. I'm just glad you're here. You're awfully cute. A Gertie calendar. That is a cute idea. Yeah, Tony's Hooter. There you go. Oh, Yadira. Gertie is another robber criminal. She stole our hearts since day one, just like her mother. Oh my God, that's so cute. Oh, do you hear your name? Hi. Hi, Plancy. Hi. Oh, Punky. Punky was a sleepy. Hers was a sleeping. Oh. Oh, that email is from you, Bo. I guess I didn't look at the headline. I know your name in real life. So that email is from me. I disregard the following me as I realize I'm not able to chat when Tommy is here. Oh, that's okay, babe. That's all right. Why do you feel so warm? Are you okay? Yeah, that was interesting that that dude said it. Oh, I have gritty hair. Erica, I love Erica. Just like fashion and makeup, I'm learning this from, from this chat. Flirting is one of the things I'm learning about. No flirting skills at all. There you go. It doesn't take much. Prancy toes. Yeah, I call her prancy toes because you hear her little toe, tippy toes walking around. So little. Did you know that you were really tiny? Did you have any idea that you were going to be this little though? My God. Um, Sandy, most of the haters are probably Osa. The others are just bored and jealous. So they try to start drama or make you feel bad about yourself. Please always stay true to yourself. We love you. Sandy, I'm more and more girl. I'm, I'm feeling more and more powerful about that. Sure. Somebody leaves a hateful comment but you're right. It's like one out of 800. So who cares? I don't care. And honestly, I just remove the comment. I just delete it. Armina, you're hilarious. You are now officially the OG from KC. I love it, Bo. I like that. Not going to lie. Your thumbnail looks like you two were forced into couples counseling. That's hilarious. I don't have thumbnails. It just picks it for me. Yeah, Verbo boss. There's nothing wrong with it. Lisa, I love that. Have my coffee in it every morning. Oh my God, that's amazing. Same, I'm a decade out of the flirt game and I have much to learn. Katie, girl, get on board. You're super hot. You can do it. Come on. If anybody can do it, Katie, you can. Look at this one. Oh my God, I forgot I wanted to read something to you guys. Did you know that you're extra small? Oh, so tiny. Um, I love you, Millie. Guys, Shelly, I love that. I feel it too. Every day I see you getting stronger, Reese. That is, and Katie seconds that. Thank you, guys. I do feel so much more comfortable with you guys. And I just, I'm here for you. You're here for me. Um, and I just want to say, I thank you for that. And somebody sent me a, I want to read this, even though it's kind of sad. I asked for her permission first, if I could, um, 
if I could read this to you guys on a live. And she said, yes. So I got her permission first. I do not share anything that anyone um, sends me unless I get permission. I want you guys to listen to this because it was really special and it was very inspiring Emergency question, Reese, what kind of truffle cheese do you get from? It's uh, Meredith. Uh, thank you for the emergency question. I purchased mine. It's um, it's a truffle Gouda. That's all I can say because I don't know the rest. It's a raw milk, actually, now that I'm thinking of the container. Was flirting allowed in Scientology? Absolutely not. Unless you were Dan O'Connor. He flirted with all the ladies. Um, what kind of truffle cheese? Okay, yeah, it's a raw milk Gouda truffle. And I buy it already chopped up into little cubes, or you can buy it and slice it yourself. But I like to pay more to do that because I don't want to, I don't want to. Um, Maggie Sue, cute name. I'm taking notes of your flirt game, Reese. I couldn't do that in my prime, which I am way past. That actually is quite the compliment. Do you guys think I'm good at flirting? I love flirting. You know where I learned it? Fred. Fred was such a flirty man. I actually was not a flirty person in my life until I married him. Um, and then I just realized how much I love flirting. I really love it. I really, really love it. Um, yeah, truffle cheese is incredibly important. So can I read this to you guys? It's kind of a switch. It's, it's very sweet. Um, this is from our friend Susie and, uh, let's see, did she tell me what her name is in the chat? Susie Ob Oberholtz. She comes into the chat a lot. Dan liked to flirt via fax machine. He sure did. Mm -hmm. Mary, why wouldn't you? I flirted with the surgeon's assistant in the operating room. I'm a flirt. <laughs> Rain virus. I love flirting, but I'm so rusty. I'm practicing on a guy friend right now. Do it, girl. It just comes natural. Um. I think I came out of the womb flirting. Yeah, I love flirting. To be fair, most cheating starts with flirting. You know, probably a percentage of that is true, but I think there's also harmless flirting and I think there's flirting with no intentions of cheating. Thank you, Boris Cruz. Thank you. You're a serial flirter. You flirt with your eyes. Not much needed for me. Oh my God, Duchess Diana, I love that. I feel like Fred gave you permission to be who you are. That has never, truer words have never been spoken. That is so true. I always say, Fred introduced me to myself. I feel truly like Fred introduced me to myself. So that is so true. He gave me permission to be who I am. That's another way of saying that. I agree. I love the way you now respond to the haters. They used to make you cry. No, they don't. Not anymore. Most divorces started with flirting. <laughs> I missed it. Where did, where did that go? That is so true, Carrie Ann. Just because cheating starts with flirting doesn't mean all flirting leads to cheating. That's so true. Guys, you really can't. It's just not a thing. Seriously, step step foot on one Renaissance fair site. You will be instantly immersed in the flirtiness and there's no going back after that. Interesting. Geoplanet Jane, Fred saw your hidden talent and helped you develop. Into that is so sweet and so true. That is probably the truth. Yeah. Oh my God, Jilbo. Tommy better watch out. I just ordered a scooter for the cruise. That's amazing though, Jilbo. I'm just so glad you're coming. That's amazing. I love that, Ken Cole. And let's face it, guys. Everybody listen to this. We are here for a good time and good laughs. It cleanses the souls. So before anybody goes, oh, she's married. Oh, he's trying to break up their marriage. That's what we're here for a good time and good laughs. Okay. And it does cleanse the soul. And yes, my bra strap is showing and who cares? Um, seriously, that is so perfect. Ken Cole. I love that. Oh, you float, you flirt almost as well as me. I like that. Gretchen, are you leaving? 
I just saw someone say, see you soon, Gretchen. Where'd she go? Is she in here still? I don't see her. I'm just happy she popped in. Yeah, Gino, I'm just here for the entertainment. Those people don't know you. So true. What? You wear a bra? That is so shameful. I don't feel comfortable flirting since I'm married. Wouldn't like my husband doing it, but I do think it's fun to watch. Well, sweet qual, I couldn't be more in the same boat with you there. Jeff's not allowed to. I'm just kidding. I'm sure Jeff flirts, but he's not very good at it. So he's not all about it like I am. Um, but I understand and I respect that. Oh my God, you're a girl. I asked you this the other day. Is it Jen O? See, like I said, my dad spells his name Jean, G-E-N-E, -E, and people called him Gino. So I assumed it was Gino. I feel so bad about this, guys. Do you know who Gur Roar is? Gur Roar is definitely a friend in our community. He reached out to me last night and introduced himself on Facebook Messenger. And I was like, he's a guy. It's, and he's cute. He's a dude. I thought Gur Roar. Yeah, you probably did tell me because I remember asking you the other day and I, I did miss it. So is it Jen O? Or do you go by Jean O? I'm guessing it's Jen O. But not very many people spell Jen G-E-N. So I don't know. Run, Tommy, run. I like that, Casey. Flirting is more about connection and feeling comfortable around someone. As long as both people know it's just for fun conversation, not because you're trying to bone down. Exactly. Actually, um, Geoplanet Jane, this bra is emerald green. See? Oh, thank you, Brit. See, Brisby Tail saw it. Yeah. It's emerald. My favorite color. Uh, Carrie Ann, Tommy and your community are both so much about connection and it shows in spades when the two of you are together. I love that too. I really do enjoy doing stuff with Tommy. He, especially when he's feeling good and up for it, I never want to force him on. Um, it's Jen. Yes. Not like your dad. Okay. So Jen. Okay, good. We got that cleared up. Thank you for clearing that up for me. Rhonda, I don't think flirting leads to cheating. If you're a cheater, you're going, yeah, exactly. Good friends can flirt and have fun. Yes. A uh, hippie chick, I'm going to reach out to her tonight, actually. Uh, when will the live be with Dr. Melissa? I don't know. I haven't heard back from her. Gur Roar is the sweetest human. I love him so much. I know. Wedding color. Sorry, Barb just texted me and I had to answer her. Different, not Barbara, Barb. Um, I love how interactive you are with the chat. Um, thank you. That's why I'm here, babe. I want, I'm here to see you guys. Don't listen to the hate. Totally, totally. I know. It's just important that the boundaries are very clear. Totally, I understand that. Question, Sarah says, I was wondering this the other day, did you flirt with other men when you were in your relationship with Fred? Yes, but I wasn't around as many other men. Fred and I were together all the time. Now, between the two of us, Fred flirted so much more than me. Fred was a huge flirt. No joke. Hi, Anita. No joke. Every time I went somewhere with Fred, every time, guys, in public, because he was born and raised in this town. So he was 95. Everybody knew him. Every time we'd go somewhere, I would hear behind me or on in my peripheral view somewhere, some woman would go, Fred Harley? Like, oh my God. And he, and every time once we were married, I'd hear it. Women would go, oh, Fred? And he would go, oh no. <laughs> Fred was such a flirt. And he knew it would piss me off because women, he was so flirty. You guys, it was bad. Fred was so touchy, flirty, not like a dirty old man. I want to clarify that because I've met in senior living some kind of, it gives you a dirty feel. It was such a clean feel. Fred was very respectful. He wasn't creepy. He didn't make you uncomfortable. Nothing like that. It was a very sweet flirt, but I swear to God, we'd go anywhere and you'd hear some lady go, Fred. And he'd go, oh, no. <laughs> and it was so cute. He was the OG flirter, Shelly. It was bad. I told you guys once I was getting ready for work. He had every one-liner under his belt. I was getting ready for work one time, and I said, I don't know. I was looking in the mirror, and I said, do you like these pants? 
He did not even miss a beat. He looked at me and he winked and he said, I like what's in him. He was such a flirter all the time. Dude flirted all the time. And I could not get enough of Fred's. I'm telling you on his dying day in hospice, Fred did this. He squeezed my boobs one last time. Now that's sad, but at the same time, he was very in love with me. Fred was so in love. He took every opportunity he could to flirt. Oh my God. Fred invented pickup lines. He had so many cute ones. One time, Shelly, I don't know where this came from. He only said it once or twice. I said, Fred, do you want to come with us? I think my mom was in town. And we were going to go somewhere. And I said, hey, honey, do you want to come with us? And he looked at me. And this wasn't real flirty, but it was just so cute. He said, call me banana. I'm one of the bunch. <laughs> and I was like, Fred, that's so cute. He was so cute. You guys, Fred, I can't get enough. He was just so cute. Oh, thank you. You're amazing. Thank you for all you do. You are appreciated. You make a difference. Don't ever forget that. Thank you, babe. That is so sweet of you. Thank you. Call me banana. I'm one of the bunch. Oh my God. It was so adorable. Yeah. The final honk. And yeah, Fred, Fred was so top notch with his flirting. It really brought me out of my shell. It really made me look at life differently. It's just everything. It was it, cause he meant it. It wasn't, like I said, it wasn't a sleazy thing. It wasn't gross. He meant it. He was in love. I know Bo on Fred's 100th birthday is in two weeks. I will be meeting Aaron. I love that too. Do you think you flirt less because of the guy, but because you want to channel something you had with Fred? That's a good question, but I don't think so, Sarah. Like I really flirt well with Tommy because I feel comfortable with Tommy. I can't do that with any and every man. I joke about it. Like I do it all the time at Whole Foods. It's more for funniness to be funny, but no, I don't look at any man and just go, Ooh, I'm going to flirt. Like, no, I have to feel it. It has to be right for me, but that's with every person. You know I mean? That's just case by case on how I associate with people in general. But no, I don't think so. I get what you're saying, but I don't think so. Fred was my second husband. The banana thing. It was so cute. Yeah, original Alexa, you got to take it. I love how you make Fred real to us. Oh my God. He's all I, if I could just come on here and talk about Fred all day, I would. I want to talk about Fred. What do you guys think? Um, oh, I'll tell you, Lisa, I'm going to read it. And I haven't forgotten. What do you guys think, by the way, since we're all in here, um, Fred's 100th birthday. I was thinking about this for the last couple of months. I really want to come on. It's a very special day, obviously. And I always celebrate him. I always go to our favorite date restaurant where we would go on dates on our, his 100th birthday and our wedding anniversary. I always go to the same restaurant and I go on a date and I just imagine him with me. And, um, this year I will be flying to meet Aaron. I wish that too, Mary. What do you guys think? I was going to do a live on the eighth way before I was going to fly to meet Aaron. I was going to do a live on his birthday and I was going to tell the story of Fred. I was going to go through the whole story of me and Fred. I can't do it that day now. Cause I'm flying. What do you think about me doing it? Like in the next few days. I don't know that I want to do it the day before the day before I need to pack and get myself ready. Could I do it just to set like the first week of February somewhere in there? His birthday is February 8th. Would you guys care if I just did like a happy birthday, Fred? Um, like the first, second, third, somewhere in there. I really want to do it. And it sucks that I'm flying that day. Does anyone else talk to Fred while he's playing? Thank him for being such a good man, Therese. Does anyone else? Oh, I love that. And I see what you're saying. I always talk to Fred. So did you say you'll be? Yes. It's just made something I wanted to send for you. Have his birthday. I can, I can send it earlier. Okay. Armine. That's so sweet. Did you meet any of Fred's kids? He, Fred had one son, Abigail. And yes, I met him and his uh, granddaughter. Fred had one son and then his son had a daughter. So just one, one there. And then she has a son. So yes, I've met all of them. Wear your best caftan. Yes. Do a special Fred day. Okay. Do you guys care if I just do it like the first few days of February, somewhere in there to celebrate it? 
it'll be hard for me, but I really want to do it. I really want to. I always honor Fred every year. I talk to him all the time. Like, I just think it would be really special to do a Fred live. I mean, if you think about Reese flirts with all of us, male or female, and I'm here for it. P.S. Record your meeting with Aaron, but don't warn him. That's a good idea, Bo Beats. I should do that. I was going to live stream it. We are ready to celebrate Fred anytime. I love you, Jill Bo. I would love to hear more about Fred. Glenda, okay. I love talking about Fred. I love that, Sarah Robin. Your birthday is February 8th, too. Thank you, Chow Yun Smut, Shelly. That's a good idea, Abigail. Maybe February 1st to kick off his birthday month. What day is the first? Thursday. Should we do it on Thursday? Would you guys be around? Should we? Uh, Sweet Well, I'm confused. I want to know about Fred. He was a 100. His, he will be, he passed away. Um, he was my husband. I was married to him. And his 100th birthday will be February 8th. Okay, third eye open. Thank you, Chelsea. What does that mean? Can you pre-record something to drop on his birthday? Like a, a video of his? I think the next few days for, I created a post to pop up on the first in honor of February. Oh, Fred, February. Oh my God, Sarah. I love that. Should we do it on the first? Fred it up. I love that verbo boss. Boris, sure, please do it. We would love to learn how and where you met good old Fred. Oh, man, I love this idea. When should we do it? I'll do it Thursday. Should we do it in the afternoon? Oh, the sheets that Gertie is sleeping in? That is, uh, I got it, anthropology. Yeah, just recently, actually. Just look up their bedding. They had a sale. Freduary. Oh my God. I created a post pop up. In the yes. Oh my God. Yvonne, I hope you can be there Thursday, my birthday. Yes. Mariana, Mariana, Mariana dropping to say hi. I've got the, opening. Oh, I love that. Welcome, babe. Every day is Fred's day. Tampa B man. I love you. Do it on February 1st. So we are celebrating his birthday all month long. I like this. Oh my God. February 8th is my grandmother's 95th. Wow. Guys, my throat hurts a little bit. I cleaned with a bunch of bleach today and I forgot to put a mask on and Ken Cole made a bunch of masks and sent them to me and that's terrible. And so I like ingested, I inhaled all that and it hurts. I have a crush on Fred. I would like to see him playing piano longer. I love that. Elena, I think you should do whichever day you want to celebrate Fred. Oh, I agree. To hear Hux talk about Fred, that's a good idea too. Katie, whenever is best for you, I indeed um, talk to Fred praying, ask him to keep watch. Oh my God, Katie. That is so sweet. Thank you for saying that. And I love that you and Tommy and doing lives together again, the cha your channels mesh well, as you, both your channels are about connection. Us viewers also connect with other viewers in chat. Totally. Anna, I agree. I love doing stuff with him. Okay. Let's do it on the first Fred, Uary. late afternoon. It's okay. Armina, don't worry about it. That's a good idea, Stephanie East. Afternoon. So what time at, like, could I do it? Um, could I do it like today? Could I start at like three o'clock? Would that be okay? Which is my time central. Border Collie Mom, you guys are all deep, thoughtful, and serious. I'm sorry to be shallow, but what color is your lipstick? I <laughs> love. Thank you for your super chat. Um, this lipstick is the raspberry uh, cream lip stain from Sephora. Yes. Thank you. 
Thank you, Carrie Ann. Fred did so much for you. He must be watching and be so very proud of you out of Scientology. I like to believe that. I feel that Fred is with me all the time. I was with him during or at, during Scientology. Fred is the one who kind of got me out of Scientology for sure. Um, oh, shoot. I got to take a picture of something. I just made a mistake. Crap. Uh, Lori, are you in here? Do I have a mod in here? Don't worry. I'll fix what I just did. I made a mistake though. Don't worry. I'll fix it. I got to go into YouTube when I'm done. I will fix that. Yeah. I wrenched the spammer myself. Uh, retired red. Crap. I just made a mistake. I tried to ban somebody and I ended up banning somebody else. I know how to, I think I know how to fix it. I'm going to go into YouTube and get her out. Don't worry. Um, I will fix it. I promise. By the way, I need to know if Brianna Miller is back in here. She thinks she got banned and no, none of my mods banned her. So I need to check that too. Hey, Alana. Anyway, I want to read this to you guys. I want to read this. Can I, do you guys mind if I read this to you? I want to read something to you guys. Do you mind? <gasps> Ren B. I just got here catching up and eating some pho, my seductive evening. <laughs> Ren B. I stole your meme. Only you can fix it. Okay, Red, I will fix it. I promise. I will fix her. Uh, girl, if you're watching and you got banned, don't worry. I'm going to get you out. Don't worry. Okay. I want to read something to you guys. I want you guys to listen, okay? No, Abigail, I did not. Okay, this is from Subi, Susie Oberholtz, okay? I know I'm using my fancy mic. I, I usually use a mic now when I do lives with other people. I don't like using a mic. Okay, I want to read this to you guys, and she gave me permission to read it, so I want you to listen to this, okay? A Fred Festival. Okay, just listen, because I won't be able to read the chat. Uh, okay. Listen to this. I know it sounds better with the mic. I'll try. Um, today's chat. Now she said this today's Tuesday, right? She said this yesterday, Monday, today's chat hit me right in my heart. It's funny that I was thinking of things I wanted to say to you about your value, et cetera. But at some point, it hit me that everything I wanted to say to you, I needed to say to myself. I was always told I was beautiful and had a great figure. But the last 12 years, I've fought breast cancer three times. Last year, I had 42 weekly rounds of chemo. And I'm about to start radiation five days a week for six weeks. This is... um. This is from a person who watches our chat, guys. She reached out to me for the first time yesterday. I've had 21 surgeries this time. I also suffer from Hashimoto's and rheumatoid arthritis and gained a lot of weight. A year ago, I was 313 pounds. Today, I'm 243 and still working on it. So basically I'm fat, bald, boobless, and 57 years old. My skin is dry and dull. I feel like I've lost myself. But you are helping me. I bought some Paula's Choice skincare. I've bought new makeup and I'm wearing more than loungewear or leggings. I'm fighting my way back and you are a big part of that. I'll never stop watching you and pray you never quit your channel. I live near Tulsa and would love to do a meetup in Kansas City even. 
I swear we are kindred souls. Or at least we would have been with the old me. I'm fighting to get me back. And I thank you for that. Is that amazing? So then I wrote back to her and, and responded and she said, it's fine if you share it. I don't even care if you name me. I'm determined to love me again. Scars, pounds, and all. Guys, that's Susie. And I just think um, that was incredible. I just think that was amazing. And I wanted to share that with you. I know that took a turn. But it's a beautiful turn at the same time. I'm proud of her. I love that woman. I don't know her very well yet. Like I know some of you. Um, but this is why we're here. Among other reasons. But this is why we're here. I wanted to remind everybody. And this is a beautiful thing. And she's our friend. And we love her. And we love everybody. We support you guys. I say we because I'm speaking for everyone in here. You guys are all my loves and my friends. And I mean that. And I really love you guys. And we all have scars. We all have trauma. We all have surgeries or anything that you're going through. I just want you to know I feel it. I'm with you. I love you. And I'm not going anywhere. And you're not going anywhere. And, uh, It's just, uh, it's, yeah, Susie, you are a warrior. Two years post double mastectomy, you've got this and you are loved and supported. Renby, yeah. Reese, your love is so boundless and coming back to you 1000%. Thank you. And uh, guys, I love how much you're supporting Susie right now. She's amazing. She's not alone. I don't know if she'll see this. It doesn't look like she's here today, but she's in our chats a lot. There she is. Oh, there she is. There's Susie, you guys. Susie, I hope you don't mind. I got your permission to read that. But um, I wanted to read that because we support you and we love you. And that's what this family is for. And we're here for it. We're here for you. We're here for each other. I hope one day, Susie, that I can meet you in person and hug you. And I just, um, it's not ending this on a bad note. This is a, a note of love and Susie is fighting and she's determined and I love her and I love all of you. So guys, thank you for, uh, Elena. I will pray for that beautiful person, a great person. She has to be. Her struggle is a hero's heart. That's true. That is such the truth. See if you abandon your channel or change who you are because some people want to announce their departure, then you aren't here for people like Susie. Don't worry. I'm not, I can't change guys. It's uh, I'm not a chameleon. I'm not good at that. Um, I am here for you and it's not going to be any different. So if this isn't for you, it's best to check out because it's not going anywhere and Susie's not going anywhere. And we're all here for her and each other. Susie is a warrior. Cheryl, I'm sorry I made you cry. I made you laugh too, though. Susie says, love you all. Thank you all. Sorry. I was thinking love you all. She said, thank you all. Uh, guys, I'm going to sign off. Um, but Susie, yeah, I love this. See, I love this so much. Glitter and ammo. Reese, I hope you realize you're changing lives every day. I don't realize it, but as long as it's happening, I don't need to realize it. I'm just glad that we are making a dent guys. It's not just me. It's us. Oh, I love Skipper, the geriatric chihuahua. I check every day, every day because they bump me off still. Oh, I see what you're saying. Uh, guys, Skipper is saying that she gets, uh, unsubscribed. Thank you for your super chat, by the way. Um, please make sure you're subscribed with all 600 of us in here. Just make sure you're subscribed because I am, it's slowly going backwards for me. And if it's people who don't want to be subscribed, that's okay. But if you do want to be, just check. 
So Susie, we love you. I love all of you on that note, guys. Thank you for that beautiful message. And we will do a live about Fred on Thursday. That is for, for February. That is so cute. Um, and I love you guys. I hope you can be here for it. I'll probably do it around three or four in the afternoon, my time, which is central time. Yes, Bo, we are the whole problem and we love it. <laughs> Don't be part of the problem. Be the whole problem. Um, yes. Reese, those who say you always make it about you clearly don't know your channel. This channel extends far beyond just you. Ken Cole, that is such a nice thing to say. And those people don't watch. The people who say that, they don't know. And guys, I'm feeling a little bit more powerful all the time. I'm not worried about that kind of stuff as much as I used to be. It's okay. Those people are miserable. Um, guys, I'm going to sign off. Speaking of Fred, here. Oh, Barbara. It truly is us. I love you, Barbara. And it is. And I agree. And I just love that my channel and Tommy's channel tie so much together in the connection part. You know, if, if you guys follow him at all, it's very similar. He does a very similar thing and he makes people feel very special. And it's not a, it's not a shtick. It's a real thing. Tommy is a special man. Emily Brooks. Hi Reese. You rock. I love you, Emily. All right, guys, here comes Fred. Thank you for listening. And I love you guys. I really do. I will be on tomorrow. Don't worry. I'll be back. All right. Love you all. Good night.